Hello, thank you for tuning to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Jason Lutz. Today I have a special guest. I have K. Dawn Rutledge, the president of the Nashville Coalition of 100 Black Women Foundation. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, I invited you today because I know that your organization is, has a really great event coming up. You're having the Sister for Sister Conference. Yes. And I just thought this would be a great um, thing for our viewers and our readers to learn about. Yes, we will present the Sister for Sister Conference on April 2nd. Mm -hmm. uh, the event has been going on, this particular event has been going on since 1998. Wow. And as a matter of fact, it was founded by Rosetta Miller Perry, who is the publisher of the Tennessee Tribune. She is wow. the one who actually founded this event as part of a way for the organization to have outreach into the community and to educate women on issues relative to education, health, and economic empowerment. Okay. So this particular event's been going on a long time. Again, it will be April 2nd. We're hosting it at the Nashville Airport Marriott, and tickets are $65. Okay. So um, what's going to be happening that day? Is it workshops, <clears throat> lunch, things of that nature? Yes, it is a full day of workshops, networking opportunities for women of color. Um, it's an, it is an event that provides an opportunity for women to really support and connect with one another. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have workshops on education. Uh, we will have Sharon Gentry, who is the director, well, who is the chairperson for the Metro School Board. She's going to be coming in to talk with us about uh, what is going on with the search for the director of schools because yes, that's, you know, a big that's, a big, that's a big thing right now. You have 85,000 students within the metro school system, many of whom are children of African descent. Mm -hmm. And so that's a critical issue um, that we want to be in, engaged with and have other uh, women because we all have, many of us have children in metro school system. So that's something. Uh, we're also going to have a workshop focused on health, oh, um, women's health issues. Uh, uh, African American women tend to outpace other women in diseases such as um, HIV AIDS, uh, diabetes, heart disease. So we're going to have a health expert there to give us more information about how we can better take care of ourselves. Because if we're not good to ourselves, we're not going to be good to our families. Right. We're not going to be um, able to be do well in our profession so we want to make sure that women are healthy and can live very strong lives uh, eating right exercise all those critical things we should be doing and we also have an economic workshop in which we're going to have several women who are business owners mm. to come and talk about their struggles and opportunities that they have as business owners um, they are going to share uh, some of the highs and lows of that. Mm -hmm. And we will culminate uh, those three workshops with our Women of Color Luncheon in which we have Carol Hard Carolyn Hardy, who is currently uh, the CEO of the Greater Memphis Chamber of Commerce. And she's also the first African-American woman to own her own brewery company. Brewery like a uh, beer? Yes. Well, now that's exciting. <laughs> I, that's very exciting because um, I am a beer connoisseur, as some people know. And we're always trying to find like African-American owned breweries. And I'm, I've never known of a, a female African-American. Yes. Owned. And she's, she's the me? first woman African-American female to ever do so. This and is, the is. company is Hardy Bottling. And they have the ability to manufacture more than one million cases. Well, so this is a, a, a really big company. Like yes, they're doing it. she's doing it. She's <laughs> a serial entrepreneur. And uh, in addition to owning this company, she owns several other companies as well. That's exciting. And where is she located? Memphis, Tennessee. So she was the first African-American female to own her own brewery company. And just that in itself is, uh, I, I'm sure she has some phenomenal stories to tell about the, the, um, the challenges of being a female in that industry that's been pretty much dominated by men. Yes. So we're looking forward to hearing her story. And also at the luncheon, we always present our Davis Galloway Empowerment Award. And the Davis Galloway Empowerment Award is an award, is an award named after uh, Letty S. Galloway, and Ivaneta Hughes Davis, both of whom are deceased now. Mm -hmm. But they were part of the original charter members of the 100 Black Women chapter in Nashville. 
And this award celebrates their life, but it also highlights African American women who are doing phenomenal things in the community through their jobs, through their community service, uh, through outreach to uh, families and children. And we have some fantastic nominees this year, who one of which will walk away with the award for wow. 2016. That's great. Um, that's not exciting. You got some really good workshops. The luncheon sounds great. Um, now, National Coalition 100 Black Women Foundation. You're associated with the Nashville Coalition of 100 Black Women. Um, what is the difference between the foundation and the actual organization? Well, the foundation is the charitable arm of, uh, and we focus on making sure that we can provide uh, resources and services that support education, economics, and uh, healthcare issues relative to African American females, uh, women, and girls. Hmm. And so this conference um, is one of the outreach efforts that allow us to provide those services to women. Um, we also, during the conference, have a scholarship uh, called the Danita Marsh Scholarship Award. Mm. And it is awarded to a um, African-American female who uh, is studying to go into the field of criminal justice. Uh, Danita, Danita Marsh is a former Metro Nashville police officer, and she was shot, uh, fatally, sh not fatally shot, but she was uh, injured, mm -hmm. severely injured in the line of duty when she was responding to a domestic violence call. Mm -hmm. And um, she, um, her bravery in terms of trying to protect um, the female who was involved in that situation uh, led us to establish the scholarship in her honor. And so we are um, trying, to f trying to assist female students who are interested in having a career in criminal justice, justice and who are going to be working to address these kinds of issues within our community. Well, I sound like you're really doing some great things for the community. Um, the conference sounds really good. I, I, I <laughs> suggest that all the women watching this, you need to be there on April 2nd. And Absolutely. if they want to register, how can they do so? Well, you can register in two ways. Uh, we have a website set up, uh, www.nashvillefoundation100bw.org.org. Um, we have... Uh, uh, a way that you can uh, pay online. Uh, you can also, if you prefer not to pay online, we have a phone number that you can call where you mm -hmm. can retrieve your tickets. And that phone number is 615-424-4753. All right, well that sounds great. Well, thanks for coming today, sharing the information. I hope you enjoy the conference. Sounds like it's gonna be a beautiful Saturday afternoon. People are going to learn a lot and, and network, so we're definitely glad to get the word out. It's a great way for women to take time to invest in themselves, to support other women, and uh, to learn about how they can be their best selves, because uh, our theme this year is developing your personal best in education, health, and economic empowerment. And so that's what we want for women, is that we can begin the work uh, as mm -hmm. Yonla Van Zandt would say, begin doing the work mm -hmm. required to make us be at our best uh, so that we can better serve our families, better serve our children and our communities. Wow, I like that a lot. Well, I appreciate your time today. Thank you. And once again, you tune into Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. I'll see you next time.